must say I'm feeling quite small standing next to Mr. Hopkins. It's not because of you, it's because of the big machines that are standing here. <laughs> what did you bring to the trade fair? Well, what we've actually brought is two of our um, debricking machines. They, we call them debricking machines. Some people like to call them telescopic excavators, but the one behind me on the left-hand side is like a 34 ton size machine, which is especially built for debricking uh, furnaces and ladles after the refractories have been worn out, but also for cleaning them in, in absolute hot condition. We're talking of temperatures, say somewhere around 1200 to 1400 degrees to remove the skulls, which is a buildup of slag and steel leftovers around the mouth and inside of the vessels to make them clean again. And on just right behind us, we have one of our smallest innovations and newest innovations. It's a brand new uh, small size machine uh, which has an absolute unique feature of a 360 degree rotary boom on the end of it. Is this a development um, that the clients asked for or did you come up with it yourself as, and then ask the clients if they liked it or not? <laughs> well, uh, truly speaking, yes. It's through feedback this development has come up. We listen to our customers, we want to know what they require for their applications. So we know that the customers need 360 degrees to effectively work inside of the ladles and the vessels to be able to reach every corner of where the refractory needs to be removed. So you have the tiltable cabin, um, but uh, sustainability was also something that you had to think yes. about. Sustainability is of course one of the major, um, I would say, features uh, which is required for the future and uh, this machine also includes one of the latest uh, emission control technologies so that the machine can more or less run anywhere with the lowest emissions possible. It reduces um, CO2, it reduces soot particles from the exhaust as well as uh, nitrous oxides. You just said you uh, listen to your clients. What have you been hearing from your clients here at the Metec? Well, I must say that most of them are actually fascinated by uh, the developments that we have done because uh, they've recognized that we are listening to them and that their wishes are actually being turned into the equipment that they need for the future. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you very much.